Hello, this is Jim from Better Tito, and in this video we're going to cover how to set up your Tito after you clear its memory uh, on your iGame Plus or Game King type machine running a 3902 board. That would be the older board. And in this case we're running older software, which would be pre-SAS 6.0 software. If you don't know what this is, uh, email me and I can direct you uh, as to which video you should be watching for your game set. So, uh, this older menu you can tell because it's got a black screen with red buttons and the newer uh, 6.0 and newer type SAS games have a like a gray and bluish screen. So, anyways, let's get started. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing is you're going to want to put your key chip uh, in the machine, turn it on, and when you do, you come to this screen here. And for most key chips, you're going to be forced to uh, clear the RAM and uh, clear the EEPROM and uh, then key chip it. And then basically set up the machine from scratch, which is not hard. So what you'll find is you turn your jackpot key and the no will turn to a yes, and then you press the test button on your board. It'll go down to the next one, turn the key again, goes to yes, press the test button on your board, goes to the next one, <coughs> key again, yes, and then finally we want to do the operation, so I pressed the test button a fourth time, it took me down to reboot machine, I'm going to turn the key, it's going to do all those actions, And then when it's done, it comes up with this uh, message to power your machine down and put your original game chip, chip back on the board where the key chip is now. Okay, so I'm going to break the camera here for a minute while I do that, and then we'll boot back up. Okay, at this point I have swapped the uh, key chip that was in the board uh, with the original game chip. Put the board back in the machine, I turned it on. Uh, for this uh, setup process, you're going to leave the main door open for the entire time. And what you're going to notice is when it boots back up as normal, it's going to flash different colors on the screen. Uh, but what will be different is because we just cleared the memory, is it's going to lock up to an air. Okay, so here's our RAM air. I'm going to turn the jackpot key. And once you turn the jackpot key, it brings up a bunch of uh, information, which really doesn't matter too much. Uh, turn the key again, and it'll bring up a message to press and hold the test switch. So do that uh, on the board, press and hold it for a full three seconds. Then release, and it'll continue to boot up. And now it's going to go to the second air, the EEPROM air. Okay, turn the key again. Now at this point, we're going to turn the key again, but I want to just warn you, uh, at this point it's going to boot up to the key chip menu. Once it gets to the key chip menu, it's sort of on a timer where if you do not do an action within 60 seconds, it will continue to boot and you'll have to start everything over. So you want to, uh, I know it's going to be hard to watch the video and do that but that's kind of what you're going to have to do if you don't know how to, how to set up your machine. But it'll be a learning experience for you and you will get it. So I'm going to turn the key and we're going to start to set up the, the machine from scratch here after a clear. Okay, so this is kind of how your menu should look. This is the older version. And the first thing we always want to do is we go to Game Denom Setup. Now this happens to be a single denomination game. So I'm going to change mine to a penny to play on this game. If your game is multi-denom, there will be a next button down here at the bottom somewhere. 
Uh, after you change your base denom to a penny, press next, and then you can turn on and off the other denominations that you want to play. Okay, so I've set up my denomination. I'm going to save and then exit. And then once I'm back in the main screen, I want to touch cash out devices. I want to enable my printer. Right now it's disabled, so I just touch change. This machine does not have a coin hopper. Right now it's enabled, so I'm going to touch change to disable it. Uh, this message about the jackpot hand pay, don't worry about that, just leave that alone. So we're done here, touch save, exit back to the main menu. Uh, after that, uh, if you care about the percentage of payout on, on your machine, you can touch game selection, touch your game, and you'll see it lists different denominations, or I'm sorry, percentages that you can play. So you can change that if you want. When you're done, touch uh, done, and then exit back to the main menu. <coughs> At this point, uh, you've actually set up your game and you can uh, go on to now set up the Tito. So this button in the top left usually is COM options. Touch that. <clears throat> You'll see it brings up more options. The first one is COM channel setup. Touch that. It brings up this screen. The only thing you need to do is at the bottom here where the 2 is highlighted, touch 3 to highlight the 3. Touch save and then exit back to the main menu. Next is global options. Touch global options. At the top one it says system bonusing disabled. Touch change to enable it. Leave the second line alone. Touch save. And then exit back to the main menu. Uh, ETF, I don't think there's anything there. No, sorry. Skip, skip ETF and then at the bottom touch IGT SAS 5. That brings up more buttons. We want to touch primary channel. And then the buttons that pop up touch set machine address. This menu will pop up. Just enter the number 1 so that our address is 1. Touch save and then exit back to the main menu. Last thing we do is validation setup. Touch that. Right now validation is standard, touch change. We want it to be system, so you press change until it says system. And after we do that, you notice the second option that was here disappears. Touch save and then exit. And believe it or not, at this point we're completely done with our setup. It's really that easy. So touch exit key chip menu. It'll boot up to the game menu here in a few moments. This message will pop up, verify all options, just touch OK, and it'll go away. Now, there's one last thing you really need to do before you put money in the machine and play the game. Press the test button on your board to go to the menu. And then once here, I want you to touch setup, touch machine options, and touch the one that says credit style setup. Notice the hopper is blank. There is no limit for the hopper because you don't have one installed. If you do have a hopper, then you're going to want to set the limit amount for it. The credit limit, jackpot limit, and acceptor limit, generally you want to increase to the maximum that it allows, and it will tell you somewhere on the screen here how many it will allow. In this case, it's uh, 99999 So I'm going to do that for each one jackpot limit and this one is 100,000 and finally acceptor limit is already set for the max on this machine. You'll find that the amounts can vary depending on your set of software but this is what you want to do. Increase to the max. Save and then exit. And then finally uh, the last thing I would suggest is go to the sound and check the sound levels. Generally they're really high for the casino and for home use you can turn them a little lower okay so that's it when you're done save exit you can touch the button return to game close your door and uh, you could test out your uh, new tito board setup you should be good to go